Okay, so here's the plan for the uh, handles. I think I'm going to use this inch and a quarter uh, galvanized steel pipe. Sort of like a guide channel. I'm going to weld this in here like this. And then we can slide the one inch. It fits exactly in there nice and tight. I could put a little hole here on the end and put a hitch pin down through there to hold it in place. That way you can take it out when you're working and the handles won't be in the way. I thought about trying to make one that would fold up like this, but I don't know if it would be long enough. I'm sitting here trying to fit all the angles and everything. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. Bit of a problem over here because the uh, motor is going to be in the way, so I'm just going to have to put a bracket here and uh, weld it, butt weld it, and uh, hope it holds. All right, time to tack this guy in place. Hey, well, it's Sunday. Getting a little bit cooler again. Nice 60 degree yesterday. I was sweating. Anyway, it got rained out in the afternoon, so picking this thing up Sunday morning. This thing got welded in. It seems to be holding all right so far anyway. I don't know if I need to put some braces on there. I mean, I've been transporting this thing around just the one handle. This will eventually get a hole drilled down through there to put a pin in. I should have done that ahead of time like I did with this one. But this one didn't hold. And the motor's going to be sitting back here, so I can't have it run the whole way through. It just has to uh, sit in there somehow, so I'm probably going to put a uh, cross brace in or something. We probably should need to ground this uh, galvanized down. Didn't get a very good weld on that at all. Plus, that uh, wire wire has been sputtering on me like crazy ever since I went to that new wire. Because the first roll ran out, so I'm going to just sing closer to the uh, shed where I can get house power. We'll see if that makes a difference. If not, I'll run down to Lowe's and... Get a roll of the 030 instead of the 035, see if that makes a difference. Alrighty, let's get on it. Okay, so I think I figured out some problems. Number one, running on the house current now. We're not getting that uh, stuttering we were getting before, where it was just bouncing off the work and causing major problems. So, Plus, you don't have to listen to that gen set run. That thing is noisy, you can't hear yourself think. Also, I had it about five and a half, six on the speed, turned it down to three. This is with five and a, about five and a half, and this is with three, so. I can control it better, plus getting more uh, horizontal movement there. Wish I'd have figured that out two days ago. Okay, so we got this piece uh, put in place. I'm not sure if it's going to be strong enough to hold up over time. Probably need to take and put a brace from here down to this uh, motor mount plate here just to stiffen it up. That'll probably be the safe bet. So let's see if we can figure that out. Probably a piece of uh, angle RNA. Okay, men of Mary, here's the game plan. Got this piece of angle iron put in here. It's going to tie down to this uh, plate that mounts the uh, motor. And that's going to tie right onto this bracket here for the handles. That'll make her super strong. Forms a nice triangle, which of course is the uh, strongest piece of geometry in construction. So, it's all clamped in. Metal's cleaned up. Let's go ahead and take care of putting this in for good. Alright, there you have it with the handles on. This cross bracket makes it very strong. It's not going anywhere. You want to take the handles out for stowing. Just pop this uh, guy out of there and slide him out. All right. All we have to do in this guy yet is uh, put some prime run there, paint all the bare metal, then we can start putting it back together. And uh, there we have it. All right, got our face down, got the wheels off, got it cleaned up pretty decent. Time to give it a uh, final coat of paint here, just to keep the rust away for a few more years. Going to use a rust oleum out of a can and a brush. That stuff really goes on nice and heavy and uh, fills all the gaps and cracks. Well, here it is. As soon as this baby dries, we'll stand it up, hit whatever spots we missed. And probably tomorrow we start putting it back together. Give it a little bit of time to dry nice and hard. Looks pretty good for a however many year old uh, concrete mixer. It's going to be too pretty, I won't want to use it. This uh, rust -Oleum Professional Spray is awesome. Highly recommend it. It actually comes out of a can like you uh, would think it should. Nice coverage, good pattern. Never had a problem with it. It's about five bucks in Walmart. Lowe's carries it too. Here's all the stuff on the magnet, uh, just from a little bit of grinding and wire wheeling and welding this morning. Kind of cool, eh?